What's up YouTube? It's Coach Corey and today I wanted to cover some tournament gameplay so we got some high level competitive action for you today and uh, recently there was a Unity tournament. It was a pros and Joes tournament so basically what it was it was 32 teams competed so a lot of people and each team consisted of three players and one player was the pro which basically just based on trophies so somewhere over 9,000 trophies and then each team also had someone uh, from 6,000 to 9,000, and then someone below 6,000. So I actually was in that tournament as well. My team did pretty well. We got to the semifinals, and then we lost to, I think, the team we're watching right now. Um, so it is a best of five. The first, the finals are best of five. The first four games are smash and grab. Poco and Pam are banned. And um, if it gets to a fifth game, the tiebreaker is bounty. So those are all the rules. That's pretty much it. It's just a matter of, and then as far as picking maps, each team gets to pick the same amount for each time. Except for the tiebreaker, then you have to mutually agree. So right now it looks like we're seeing, I think without Pam and Poco, Crow becomes a very strong option. Um, as those two sort of counter Crow a little bit. So that gives Crow a lot more potential. So you, we see Crow on both teams. I think we're going to see Crow a lot in all these games. And we also see a bull on both teams. They have very similar team comps. It looks like uh, the team we're watching now is about to win this game. They're up by 10 gems easily. Now, I think this bull could die. There's a lot of time left. Yeah. But they have clear control of the spawn. It's just a matter of... Oh, but if they can kill the crow... Oh, that had to be it. Nope, didn't happen though. Man, that was very close. All they needed to do was kill that crow, and if the Rigo could have walked out, at the least they could have made it so the gems were further up. Even with the bull charge, not enough. Alright, so it looks like, uh, I think Crying Man is the pro, so we'll call it Team Crying Man. They win the first game, they're up 1-0. to zero. So now we have to wait for a map to be picked for the next one. We might cut out if it takes too long. Let's see what happens. All right, so we're back for the second game. Looks like it's going to be Hard Rock Mine again. Uh, team Krangerman picked the map this time. Last time, Team Jersh picked the map before, and they decided to stick with the same map. All right, here we go. Game number two, same map. Team Krangerman up one to zero. It looks like uh, Team Krangerman has kept the same comp of Bull Crow and Colt. The other team has a Ricochet, a Crow, and a Bull. So again, same matchup. So both teams feeling confident that uh, they can continue the success um, and Team Jurish feeling like they can overcome whatever mistakes they made last time with the same comp. So, so far it looks like the red team is taking control of the middle, although their bull has two gems, not an ideal situation. You never really want your bull to carry gems. Looks like Krongman is dead. I believe that was their crow. So definitely Team Red has definite control they're getting the majority of the kills so far but there is a bull in the enemy spawn but can he take advantage of that uh looks like he might be able to kill this bull but i don't think he's going to be able to get those gems oh uh, but they are able to get a two on one going on right now uh but they're not able to really get the gems away team blue not able to Ooh, actually more gems than i thought looks like and that crow survived with full health and looks like the ricochet on the Team Blue just died as well. Now there is a bull in the enemy grass. This is going to be a strong position if that ricochet is not able to take him out of it. And he's not able to see exactly where he is. But, and he was able to survive long enough to get a kill and bother this crow a lot. There's not a lot this crow's going to be able to do. I really disagree with that super by Kevin Song there. He's going to need that to get back into the battle now, but it doesn't matter as his team has countdown, and that's all he needed. That's all he wanted to wait for, is just trying to stall. And now, unfortunately, even if they are able to kill this person, they able to kill the carrier. Their bull might drop five gems for the enemy. Looks like it's going to be a 2-0 lead for Team Crying Man. Again, with the same comp, let's see what the next map is and what sort of team comps we get. All right, so into the third game with Team Crying Man up 2-0. Team Jersh has picked to do the map Deep Hollows. And Crying Man's team, again, picking with the same comp for three games in a row. 
And looks like, again, both teams having Bull and Crow. I'm not sure what the third is on Team Red, a thrower. So Barley, that was my guess. I'm very surprised Team Krangman is not using a thrower on Deep Hollows. Deep Hollows definitely heavily favors throwers with all of these walls. I'm not sure I agree with the decision to use Colt on Team Crying Man. Until those walls are broken, it might be a little hard, but Colt is definitely one of the strongest brawlers in the game right now, so it may not matter either way. But at the least, a thrower is definitely very strong here. So we'll see how much that really plays an impact right now. Team Red in the lead by one gem. A bull comes charging in. I'm not quite sure what the goal was there. Didn't really get close to anyone. But able to get a kill. I'm not sure who it was they killed. I think it was the Colt. And now there is a bull in their side. They, if they can kill that bull, Team Red can kill Kevin Song. That will be one gem for them at the least. So far, both of these bulls are not really healing up. They're all just staying at mid-health. Not sure if it's to take advantage of the enragement effect or it's just to keep up the pressure. But currently, the crying man, their gem carrier as Kuro just died and now Team Red got countdown. Oh, but a good kill by Kevin Song able to stop the countdown and take two gems and crying man comes in and takes the gems from the crow crying man one hit from death oh but it looks like kevin song picks up the rest of the gems that crying man dropped and now team blue has countdown again they have to kill the colt or the bull in order to stop this but it looks like the crow is about to die and this game might be over i don't see any way team red can come back and a clean 3-0 sweep by team crying man with Kevin Song and Magic the Cat, the victors of the 32-team tournament from Unity. They won five rounds, three best of threes, and two best of fives. A very strong team and a good performance by then. Now, I know this was a bit of a short video, guys. I do apologize for that. But I wanted to get some competitive gameplay out for you guys. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this and if you want some more. That's it for today's video. I'm going to have some of my own gameplay from that tournament in my next video just in the background. So you guys can look forward to that as well. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you later.